Hello again everybody and welcome back to Fujit's Blitz and this is the Aces Gallery Part 2 for June. Yeah, I know I'm still playing catch up. That's because I was trying to sort out live streaming and real world stuff got in the way. Anyway, first off we got uh, Sp Spine Snapper of the Clan ATC rolling out in the SU-100, the Russian Tier 6 TD from the North American server. It's always nice to have people send me stuff from servers other than the EU. Now, this isn't exactly the easiest tank to play anymore, but it's still a nice tank. Although a lot of people don't rate it. But for its tier, it's actually not a bad TD. It's got a low profile, it's got a reasonable gun, although it's got a Russian gunner. The armor's a bit hit and miss. <laughs> well, most armor is hit and miss. It dishes out reasonable damage and it's got a reasonable reload for the tier. But this is a tricky tank, guys. Don't kid yourselves. I mean, this is not an easy tank. It comes across some pretty impressive tanks, but, you know, here we go. Spine Snapper has already dished out shy of 500 damage and taken a kill in the first, what, minute of the game. Now, basically, this is a T-34 chassis with a fixed casemate put on the top, which gives it a lower profile, I admit. Gives it slightly that trolley armor that a T-34 has. The frontal armor, well, okay, it's, it's pretty thick, but it's not that thick. Got a reasonable gun, got a Russian gunner. There you go, he's got kill number two already, shy of a thousand damage. Nothing's hurt him yet. It dishes out reasonable amount of damage. It's got, you know, quite a lengthy load time for its tier, but nothing that you can't handle. It's got good mobility. Uh, don't forget this is a TD, but it's basically a T-34 chassis and a T-34 engine. Look at this. Go on, can you smack him? Yes, you can. And look at that for a roll, 500. That's very, very nice indeed. The the thing about the fixed casemates is sometimes the gun traverse left and right isn't that great. But on the SU-100, it's actually not too bad. You know, you get quite good traverse left and right. It's not the best, but it's a fixed casemate. What do you expect? I mean, you've got some good degrees left and right. And as you can see here, the way Spine Snapper is moving the gun left and right, you can see it, it's got some good degrees of movement. Thing about this tank, mobility. For a TD, it's pretty mobile. For a, a, a TD at this tier, it's very mobile. It's got a nice gun. I mean, look at him smack this up the backside. Yeah, kill number three. He's now done just shy of 1500 damage. He's not been camping at the back. Um, he's been plowing shells in, is, as often as he can in there. Oh, that was a bad miss, but he's got a Russian gunner. This is the problem. The gun may be okay, but it's a Russian gunner. And a lot of people say, oh, Russian guns are pretty rubbish. It's not the guns, guys. It's, it's the actual gunner, to be fair. The aim time, uh, it's a little bit long, but nothing that you can't deal with. I mean, the reticle takes quite a long time to come down. But as you can see here, Spine Snapper is not having any issues with this tank or handling this gun. It'll pen most things. Penetration's not too bad, although it didn't pen that. <laughs> <laughs> that always happens when I say something, you know, pen's good or accuracy's good, they then go in miss or they then go in bounce. But it's an IA, you know, it's, it's a formidable tank. What did you expect? This is not an easy tank to pen. It's, it's, it's got thickish armor and, you know, he's doing well against this tank. I mean, it's a formidable beast. But, he, he, you know, if he gets around the side of him like this, he can pen him. He can, oh man, he can get rid of the IS-2 1945 and he does. So, he's taken four kills. He's dished out over 2,500 damage, which is pretty spectacular at this tier and in this tank. We know he's gonna get a mastery. I mean, it's called Aces of the Week, for God's sake. So we know a mastery is on its way, but that's not the point. The point of this game is to show you realistically how these tanks should be played. And again, this is how you should be playing this type of tank. Okay, it's, it's a bit of a misnomer because you also need the other team to play the way they're playing, but not necessarily. I mean, he's used the mobility. And this is the interesting thing about the tanks in Blitz that we all forget. They come with certain attributes for a reason. This tank has mobility for a reason. It's not meant to sit at the back in camp, guys. It's meant to be a mobile TD. It's meant to be moving from position to position. It's still a TD, however. You've still got that support role that you've got to play. You can't front line this thing. To do so, you would be daft. But don't just sit there and look at the attributes of each tank. 
and work out well why has this got a fast reload or why has this got a good engine and why is it quick and you'll start to understand how to play the tanks more and, and that's the thing and this is exactly what spine snapper is showing you he's been mobile throughout the battle he's been real, almost all over the map and that's what you're meant to do now he's going to give this amx a hard time and go on smack him oh no no you missed <laughs> did it again look tried to call it too early and this is what happens give him a ram oh go on reverse him back make him stop against that wall so you can then smack him and there you go kill number five a wow deserved mastery along with a shed load of other medals including radley walters that's a great game and i'd like to thank spine snapper of atc for kindly sharing his replay so next up good friend of mine clan colonel x of the clan chop 2 rolling out in the type 59 the chinese tier 8 medium it's a premium tank on the eu server now this is a lovely tank lots of people roll it out as the ding because of the art because of the camo but not our friend clan colonel x just rolling out with normal camo so do i actually i very rarely roll it out as a ding now a couple of things about this tank it's a great tank i mean don't get me wrong now you could have got this in the free event um and a lot of people did and those who did get it will realize that it is absolutely formidable fall down i mean this thing is basically like a t54 but in a tier lower it is a beautiful tank the turret is really difficult to pen the gun is fantastic the gun will pen most things it's got a great reload time and it's got a great aim time because it hasn't got a russian gunner it's got a chinese gunner well let's not kid ourselves here this is effectively a russian tank albeit modified to be a chinese one i like this tank and if you've got this tank you will like it too because it's a tank that you can roll out and have oodles of fun in and uh, you know if people go out in this tank and don't have fun then they're doing something wrong it's got good mobility it's got great armor it's got a great gun i mean what else do you want in a tank it's you know it's got a low profile and look at the mobility on this thing it's just brilliant i mean you can just throw it around the battlefield okay it's not the fastest tank in the game but that's not the point of this thing the point is it's a good all-round medium and you know for a free event tank I mean, this is just superb it's it was a tank that you should have done everything in your power to win in that event and if you didn't then more for you because this not being in your garage is is an issue <laughs> in my opinion it should be in your garage because it's a fantastic tank i mean look at this he's already dished out over 2000 damage he's taken a kill um well he's taken more than a kill let's be honest with you here you know he's taken three kills <laughs> and he's been all over the map realistically he's he's been having a grand time it's four against three there are three tanks well there are two tanks over there both of which are pretty formidable but he's already dispatched some formidable opponents he's got the tiger two that he's got to get rid of um and and he's got a t34 let's have a look t oh look at that smack it into the side good roll the other thing is i mean the damage on this thing isn't that bad okay if you if you show your hull to anybody they're gonna hurt you but look at that I mean, he's just clear the t34 next to no time kill number four now he's shy of 3000 damage which is fantastic can he get the tiger two yeah he can smack the tiger two there you go now he's up to 3,000 damage with that shot. And, you know, I think this is a great game. And by the way, guys, you have to appreciate, I don't actually watch the replays before I start doing the commentary. So, I, you know, I don't really know what's going on. And um, hence the reason why I make so many mistakes. But I, I don't believe I should be watching the replays before I upload them, um, before I do the commentary. The reason being is because it needs to be a spontaneous commentary, realistically. And in this game, wow. What can I say? Four kills, 3,200 odd damage. Wow. I mean, this is a lovely tank. It really, really is. And this is how you should be playing it. Okay, he's lost almost all his hit points. 
He's only on 159. But he's taken a lot of kills. He's taken four kills. He has been instrumental in this battle. Hello, Jack Panther. How are you doing? Give you 200. Smack you into the side. Now I'm at 3,600. He's bounced just shy of 1,000. He's still giving the JP a bit of a hard time. Bless him. JP is doing his, re his best to get up behind a rock. <laughs> it's not going to save you, mate. I mean, you've got three tanks that are going to get you. And if you're going to keep doing that, then you, you're just giving him the ability to smack you. Now he's at over 4,000 damage. Four kills. They're both one shots, realistically. Oh, camo's reset. He knows where he is. Uh, there he goes. He fires. Snapshot. Oh, he tries to do a blind shot thinking he's still there. He's not. Is he going to get the fifth kill or is somebody going to come and steal it? Come on. Oh, he's going to have the kill stealed. Oh, that's such a shame. 4,100 damage. 8, 878 bounced. Four kills. That really is a well-deserved mastery. And I'd like to thank my good friend Clan Colonel X for kindly sharing his replay. Now, last but by no means least is our Shemad 3 of the Clan Rise. Uh, he's rolling out in the Cromwell B, the British Tier 6 medium. It's a premium tank, again, on the EU server. Now, I love this tank. I mean, I really do. I mean, this is a fantastic little medium. The ability to throw this thing around the battlefield is amazing. It's got a great gun. Okay, sometimes it struggles to pen, but not all the time. I mean, the reload time is amazing. The, the gun on this is just fantastic. And like I said in the SU-100 replay by Spine Snapper, you've got to look at the attributes of the tank and work out, well, why has it got those attributes? This thing has got great mobility. It's got pants armor. Uh, it, the armor is pretty bad, although he has already bounced 160. It's got pants armor, great mobility, and a pretty nice gun. So you need to play the tank guys don't play the tier and don't play the tanks around you play the tank you're in understand why it has that mobility why it has that gun then you will start playing the tanks a lot better than you think what he's doing here is is exactly what he should i mean look at that that's a great engine fire on the excelsior he's gonna roll up smack him and take him out i mean that is a great move absolutely fantastic move he's already dished out Oh, another engine fire today. <laughs> it's still going. He's dished out 1,761 damage. He's not. He's bounced 160, and he's been instrumental in taking those kills. I mean, it's just a great tank, and this is how you should be playing it. I mean, I, I like this tank for lots of reasons. In fact, I got my second ever Raz medal in this tank. It's it's superb. You can throw it around the battlefield. And if the team, if the enemy are just going to keep presenting themselves like this, then boy, you're just going to have a lot of fun. Okay, as I said, the armor isn't exactly brilliant. And you need to be aware of that. It's got reasonable gun depression. It's not too bad for a medium. It's a British tank, don't forget. But it's the mobility and the gun that you need to focus on. And he's trying to get out of here because that little lipard is giving him a hard time. He's had 2,200 damage, 2,400 damage. He's going to give the Lippard a hard time now. He's going to chase down the Lippard, I think. Oh, maybe not. He's going to smack over there. Blind shot, oversight. That. Oh, hello, Lippard. You're not going to pen me front on. I'm going to get round you now, and I'm going to smack you up the backside. No, I'm not. I'm just going to hook <laughs> you. <laughs> this is great. Oh, Lippard. Oh, you're such, it's such a shame that they nerfed your pen. Oh, it really is. So... That's kill number three, 2,744 damage. He's bounced over 500. Hello, M4. Take a bit of that. Smack you in the face. Now it's three against one. Actually, it's two against one because he clears the M4. Then he's got the AV Sentinel to go. Oh, he bounces off the AV Sentinel. He's just shy of 3,000 damage. Come on, you can do it. No, I'm going to use... Pretend I'm going this way and go that way. Reset my camo and then move around the battlefield, use my ability, try and get some spots in, and try and catch you out. I mean, it, it, this is great gameplay. It really, really is. I mean, look at this, around the windmill. Around the windmill, yay! Come on, oh, it's a Matilda BP. Now that tank has got some pretty funky armor. It's pretty difficult to pen. 
um, with this little Cromwell. He doesn't dish out much damage. I mean, you know, he's dishing out 81 there, look. But the thing he's got, he's got a fantastic reload. He's got a super accurate gun, and he's got formidable armor. He is a tough cookie indeed. And, you know, Ash Emad knows this. He, he understands that the Matilda BP is a pretty tough and formidable opponent. So he's getting out of there. He needs to find that, that Sentinel. The Sentinel's there somewhere. And as soon as he finds that Sentinel, then he can, he can sort of concentrate on the Matilda BP. But it's not going to be easy. Because if you look at the Matilda BP in profile on Armor, profile, armor Inspector, you will see to a Cromwell B. It's not a big red tomato, but the pen points aren't exactly, you know, all over the place. It's, it's, anyway. So, they're capping the base. He knows that at least one of them is on the base. Uh, the base is being capped pretty quickly, so the chances are both of them are on the base. Can he, oh, there you go. Hello, Sentinel. Wait for that reticle. Look at the cheeks. Boom. He's gone. So, it's now one on one. And the BP is on the base. He now knows where the BP is. However, he can't spot him. That's a damn shame. So he tries to stick a blind shot in. Doesn't set anything, so he knows he's not there. He has now got to get to a position where he can spot that Matilda BP. He's, is he going to out-derp him? Well, he's only got, you know, next to nothing hit points. We know the Matilda BP is almost full HP. It's going to be a nail-biting finish. It could go either way. We know he's got the mastery. I mean, he's already done 3,000 odd damage. He's bounced just shy of 1,000. So, he, you know, he's on for a mastery anyway. Oh, there's the BP. Oh, smack. 100. Look at this. He gets 90 back into him. And the BP can do this. The BP can whittle down your HP before you realize it because of that fast reload. And the BP's gun will generally pen you, pen most tanks. It's got great penetration, but very low. Uh, damage output and it's a tricky tricky tank to, to, to fight against unfortunately that well he tried to snap that around the corner it didn't really work it went into the building which is a damn shame so he smacks him again yep but he bounced that's, a, that's another shame and you know this is the thing about the BP it has got trolley armor BP smacks him but he smacks the BP back and look the BP was just whittling down his HP that's all he's doing all he can do is back off He's only got, what, a couple of seconds left and go for the draw. He gets a great draw. 3,618 damage, shed load of credits, a wow deserved mastery, a good Radley Maltus, and a steel wall. It's a draw, but he played the game fantastically, guys, and that's what you've got to realise. He played the game and the tank to its strengths. So I'd like to thank uh, a Shamad three of the clan rays for kindly sharing his replay in fact i'd like to thank everybody who, who shared their replays so it goes out to clan colonel x of chop 2 and spine snapper of atc it was a pleasure to watch you get those masteries that's been the guys i've been fujit by all means if you haven't yet press subscribe it's a nice thing to do comment like if you've got any replays by all means send them to me at fujitsblitz at gmail.com or join my discord server where you can upload them a lot easier and until the next time i'll say the following stay safe out there have fun on the battlefield and happy tanking guys because that's what it's all about having fun and being happy